Hi guys, Sunshine Goddess Corner. Uh, my last video, someone called. I always forget to put it on DND. &D. I had my phone on Do Not Disturb for like two months. When I tell you I was going through chaos, who has their phone on Do Not Disturb? I didn't even know my phone sound like ringing anymore. I had 50,000 people blocked. I said, the hell with this number I had for 14 years that everyone knows and all the schools, doctor's appointments, what a grand time. Maybe what if I went 100,000, how will they catch me? But but if I get that 100, it's somebody at my social. I don't want to hear about it. I didn't have your phone number. But um, yeah. So someone called, I was doing my video. Oh, shit, it was a good video too. And the lady walked by on the phone. Maybe I had to trash that video. I'm going to start learning how to organize my videos so uh i could tell you guys topics and you know like i said the other day nothing set in stone i'm on my third video for you 60th video for me cut action take but um what i want to talk to you guys about today is things that are happening during spiritual awakening that you don't even notice you start doing good things like taking care of yourself five minutes a day five minutes come on it's not going to hurt you to go f walking for five minutes come to the beach for five minutes. I take my five minutes. I have a mother of four children. One, one is an adult almost, and one is a baby in between. You can figure the rest out. But um, you need that. And I'm not talking about going in the bathroom while your one-year-old's banging on the door for some woos either. I'm talking about outside the house. You don't have a car to go anywhere. Go sit on the porch while the kids go to bed. What's your excuse now? There's none. Moms, especially... Please give yourself, you need that. You owe that to yourself. Away from your spouse, away from anyone else. Five minutes, five. I've been talking to you for two. So now, you, you know, you could use my videos to sit and relax and talk. Okay, okay. We'll talk one day. You guys, I need input too. Don't forget. Okay, so we're talking about spiritual waking. So I noticed that when I did my spiritual waking, I was wanting to do magnificent things for myself, like eat better. I just noticed that all that junk food I love, check out wings. That echoed in the, because I wanted the world to know that I love chicken wings. If you know me, you know I love chicken wings. But I love chicken wings. But I started eating better, like not a lot of meat. Everything just looked gross. I started seeing the spirit of the animals and tasting them. Ooh, this pig went through some shit. Like, like literally to, for me to, like, I, and pork, pork too, I stopped eating pork. I might have some bacon every now and again, but like a pork chop, no. Penne, no. If those know I love Spanish food. I don't eat pork anymore. Hot dogs, ribs, no, no, I don't. It's not good for me. I found myself loving fresh fruits and vegetables. I always was a fruit girl. But now I love it. It's like the nectar, honey. We have any, sorry, 30 plus have me taste. Gotta try it. Daily, daily dose of fruits and vegetables and lots of water. Um, I always was a water drinker because I always worked out. But the big thing that I did notice too is you kind of start wanting to take care of yourself better. I, I mean, I hope you were taking care of yourself with Remember this for 30 plus, so um, I hope you were taking care of yourself, but you see, I, beauty sleep. <sighs> Not missing much of it, but yeah, you, you tend to want to drink better, eat better, feel better. You even start talking better. Like sometimes I think it took like a Victorian queen. Like you just, everything about you gets so much better mannerism you know what i did too though I, I i briefly studied on how to be a queen like there's no fucking royal blood in my family you can crown me all you want but uh, yeah please crown me it's like my curls but yeah there's no royalty in my blood i don't know maybe with my last name it is a royal last name but um yeah you just you just start you start being the part you start being spiritually awakened and God works through you in mysterious ways. You wouldn't even believe it. You're more closer to God and more divinely guided during spiritual awakenings than probably ever in your whole entire life. You just, you know, I, I'm like the empress, the high priestess. We all know the dark side and the light side because we lived both of them. Know what I don't want to do. and Know what I want to do. I know it makes me feel good. I know it doesn't make me feel good. Uh, yeah, so spiritual awakening really does give you a sense of 
you start living a better life. Unbeknownst to yourself, auspicious. Look that word up, guys. Auspicious. I love that word. Whew, I wish I could use it all day auspiciously. But that's that. Was, and you also start using big vocabulary words. Seeing them, reading them, I'm like, wow, I knew that. You, I'm telling you, a whole nother person. You become a whole nother person. Out with the old, in with the new. There was a Girl Scout song. It's make new friends. I don't remember. But keep the old. Something like that. Make new friends, keep the old. I don't want to talk about friendships today. That's not, it's not the. But yes, guys. So during spiritual awakening, you do start looking different feeling different, speaking different, eating different. It's not just, the, oh, today I think I could see spirits. No, you've been seeing spirits since you were little. We all, since babies. You know, the babies in the corner, you know, must be talking to grandma or auntie or somebody, somebody that they knew, someone on the other side watching over them. So they're watching over you. They're watching them watching over you, What, whatever the case may be. But spiritual awakening get, brings you to a different place in life. You will be that new person. You. I even thought about giving myself a new name. I mean, yeah, I, I, I've come across a, a Grace, Anastasia, and Celine, and there's stories behind those names that I have. They might be my spirit guides. I know I don't have any family uh, members with those names, not that I know of. My name itself is a saint name. Whew. I wasn't a saint my whole life. But, yeah. All right, guys, going back to work. Sunshine Goddess Corner. So when spiritual awakening happens, guys, be a new you. It's okay, boo. Okay? Meditate. Endless. Limitless. See that behind there? It's so sunny. It's so cloudy sunny. That doesn't make no sense. Limitless. Limitless. Don't, don't limit yourself. Guys, set boundaries. Take care of yourself. Meditate. Until we meet again here on Sunshine Goddess, peace and blessings. Mwah.